Hello, welcome to the Avalon Quick Tip Series. Today, we will go through a quick demo on how to use the Hotspot Analyzer feature in Avalon. Hotspot Analyzer is an important technique for fault localization. It helps us in identifying all common electrical nets across clusters of emission sites, that is, hotspots, observed within IC logic blocks, or between failing memory candidates, and their periphery logic. Let's now understand how to use Hotspot Analyzer feature in Avalon through an example. As shown, multiple emission spots have been detected in this sample. Using the Hotspot Analyzer tool, you can mark regions on the layout, corresponding to these emission spots. After all the hotspot regions have been marked, the tool then plots a Pareto graph of the nets crossing one or more hotspots. In this case, this net is passing through all the hotspot regions and is therefore our ideal FA candidate. We will now go over the same example in the Avalon environment. We are going to launch the Avalon software now. For demo purposes, we will be using a sample test database. Let's launch the mask view for this data. Let's now click the open chip button to see the different layers of the sample. Since the hotspots occur on the poly silicon layer, we have exposed the poly one layer for this demo. Please note that we are doing backside emission analysis to view the different device layers of this sample. To replicate this in CAD, please click the view button from the taskbar and then click the invert layers button, which would invert the order of the device layers. Now let's load in the photon emission images that contain the hotspot locations. As you can see, the emission spots are now visible. Now it's time to run the hotspot analyzer. This can be found under the tools button on the menu bar. After clicking it, the Hotspot Analyzer window opens. Now let's start marking the Hotspot regions. To do that, let's first zoom into one of the emission sites. Now, we will choose the Draw a Box option to mark the Hotspot region around this emission site. To do that, simply hold the left click of your mouse button and draw the box around the emission spots. We will repeat this step until all the emission sites are covered. Alternatively, you may load in hotspots from a pre-existing file as shown. Once all the hotspot regions have been marked, we can proceed towards the analysis part. Before that, you also have the option to specify the net names that you wish to exclude from your results by specifying them under the ignore signal list. This list generally contains the global nets such as VDD and GND signals. Finally, click the analyze button to see the results. After the analysis is complete, the tool displays all the nets crossing one or more of the hotspot regions that were marked. Let's expand this window to see the Pareto graph more closely. As shown, the tool lists the common nets that are shared across multiple hotspot regions. Let's trace the first three nets from the result window. To do that, click a net. Now, right-click and select the Trace option. Once these nets are traced, it can be observed that they are actually passing through most of the hotspot regions. Now, let's also launch the iScheme view. We will cross map one of our FA candidate nets, that is, IN7. And then, we'll go deeper into the gate level from the iScheme view. You can do this by double-clicking the left mouse button. Now let's cross-map this gate from the iScheme view, back to the mask view.
Let's also see how to load in a yield diagnostic file containing FA candidates. In this example, we will be loading a synopsis diagnosis file generated by Tetra Max or Yield Explorer. Select the file that you want to load and click open. The diagnosis file has been loaded successfully. Let us now cross map this instance listed under the defects to the iScheme view. In iScheme view, we will cross map these sub level devices back to mask view. We can observe that this specific transistor is overlapping with the defect. In this test case, we had a stuck at one defect and using this analysis, we have successfully narrowed down to the problematic net and failing device. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed learning more about this tool. See you in the next one.